Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get our horde base ready to go. And then once that's done, if we have enough time, we'll go ahead another POI and see if we can get some more books and research data to upgrade our blacksmith station. So I have upgraded and, and repaired uh, all of the existing structure, including uh, upgrading all of these blocks to titanium and stuff, you know, kind of around the explosion radius of the demolishers. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a um, a dart trap, because I had a dart trap. I can't make them, but I did have a dart trap in my uh, supplies of things. And so what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put this so that it's, it's um, five blocks up, so it's outside of the explosion radius of the demolishers. So... What I think I want to do to make that work is let's... I had already punched this hole in here, but let's actually remove this block too because I have an idea for how I want this to go. Okay, so um, what I want to do here is let's get some concrete blocks going. And I want to just just thinking about this for a second. Why don't we? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I hit the wrong daggone bu button. Um, I do want actually that top one to be there though. But this one I was gonna uh, I'm gonna put like a half block in here just so there's a little more headroom for the Zeeks. Guess it doesn't really matter though. Actually, if I think about it, because. We can't see beyond this little block here anyway. So, yeah, let's just leave it the way it is. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Grab our nail gun here and repair that back up. Okay, now um, we want to put a grate in here so the darts can shoot through it. Uh, at least I hope that they can shoot through it. So let's see, we want catwalks. I think I think they can shoot through the concrete railing or through the railing. You know what? We should we should probably test that. Well, now let's just I'm pretty sure that they, that it will because you know, we can shoot through railings ourselves. Well, even these, right? I can shoot through this, right? Did that just create damage to this? It did. Pretty sure it wasn't already damaged. Let's try it one more time. Here, we'll do the concrete block. Yeah, I saw it hit. So, if we can shoot bullets through these railings, then it's logical to assume that the darts can go through them as well. So let's just use these. So copy shape and actually copy the rotation too while you're at it. And then we're going to put this in here. Um, what if we do on face? Yep. That's exactly what I want to have happen. And we'll upgrade that to titanium. This needs to be upgraded to titanium. Okay. Good. So, that's one block. This is two blocks. Copy shape three. four, and five. So that should theoretically put the dart trap five blocks up and out of the explosion radius of the demolishers. If we wanted to, we could even go up one more higher just for good measure, so why don't we? Okay, good. Now we're gonna, we wanna take and put the dart trap up here. Like 
so. And uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to put some plates around it just to protect it from boss vulture spit. But why don't we do that? Um, how about if we go copy shape and then on face? No, that isn't what we want um well yeah we do want that for the top don't we we even put that one in there too for good measure okay we're gonna want those upgraded at least to steel all right, good. Now, uh, oh, right, we were going to do the plates. So I guess we'll just do an advanced rotation here. Okay, that's good on that side. That's good for that side. And that's good for that side. Okay, so that gives that some protection from, uh, from vulture spit. Fantastic. Now what we need to do is <clears throat> uh, we need to wire that, but again, I want to I want to have a switch for that, and the switch should be further back, uh, so it's not you know also in range of of any kind of damage. <clears throat> so probably we could put the switch maybe in here inside of here, and then run a line to it. Uh, just up to to the dart trap. Okay. It is a pleasure to serve. Let's take a look at this. Let's grab these and load the dart trap up. Wow. I don't know how many darts these things can hold, but that's all I'm willing to burn iron on is a thousand. Uh, because here again, the intent is not to run it non-stop. You know, actually, for extra support, let's do a copy rotation. We should put some of those on the side, too. I'm thinking. Copy rotation. Yeah, I don't know if we needed to do that, but we did it. So, there you go. Okay, so I need to go back to the base and grab a switch, because I didn't bring one with me. Um, and then we'll we'll hook up the the dart trap, and then I'm I have a few extra electric fences too. Oh, I've got to repair our sledge turret, so that's why I picked that up. I'm wondering if um we might want to think about putting some more electric fencing in too. The thing is, though, is I need it to be in a place where I can repair it. So yeah, that gets a little bit tricky. If we went out another block, we would need to extend this out here for those fence posts as well. And we would also need to extend this. I'm a little bit leery about putting more blocks out onto that, though, because it's probably getting close to the limit of its SI. So I'll give that some thought, but we definitely need to go back. Uh, we need to repair the sledge turret. We need to get a switch set up for the dart trap. And then, um, yeah, I think I think we'll be ready to, to take on the horde. So um, I will bring you guys back uh, when I come back with a switch, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, we're going to put the switch in, I uh, guess, right here. That way I can reach it from there. And let's get it wired up here. We might. We're probably going to need. Uh, well, are we going to need it? Yeah, we're probably going to need a relay. Well, unless I can reach it from here. I can. Good. Perfect. Okay. 
So that puts the switch um, out of the way of the vulture spit. We can turn it off and on as needed. Fantastic. All right, so I guess the, the final question then is, do we want to try and do something about putting some more fence posts up? I'd want them to come across this way. There's another. Some more damage down there that needs to be patched up. Oh, by the way, I got the sledge turret fixed too while we were over at the base, so that's going to be put back down here. Right there's good. So I guess <clears throat> we don't necessarily need these vertical plates here. If we took those out, we could probably put two two more in. Uh, well, actually, it would have to be three more. Put some more fence posts up on this side, and then over here, we just have to extend this out one block too. To, for the posts to be on. And then that just gives us extra extra uh, defenses, right? Uh, during the horde the horde night. Which we're gonna we need it for this base. This base is as it is right now is barely able to hold on. So I think we'll be okay doing this. If not, well then that's gonna suck. <laughs> uh, so let's get rid of these. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, let's grab these plates here. And we want... Looks like that's set correctly. We just got to get it right on the edge without falling off ourselves. And right, that's got to go upside down. So let's do a copy rotation. Uh, where's got? There we go. And that should go on there. And then this should go on here. And I think... Yeah, that should be okay. I'm just, uh, again, I'm a little gun shy about putting too many more blocks out on the edge of this thing. So a fence post can go there. And one can go there. Good. All right. That takes care of that side. Now, let's uh, deal with this part next. Okay. Copy shape. That guy there. And then this guy can go down one block. If I can get it to behave here. There's like a, yeah, this thing right here. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. And we'll put the fence post there. All right, now, next thing we gotta do is, let's hop down here. And hook up to these relays. I guess it's that relay we wanna hook up to. Can we reach that from over here? Yes. Good. All right, now this part might be a little trickier. Uh, what we need to do is hook up to there and then get over to this other one. Yeah, see that's where we go red. There we go. Nice. Okay. That wasn't so hard after all. That yeah, we should be able to just do like this. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So we've uh, we've improved the horde base by... I'm going to make those titanium. And um, do you have any steel? It is plating? a pleasure to serve. You don't. Okay, we're really low on titanium plating. Which, um, and we can't make more until we get that furnace upgraded. So we have a little bit of time 
before the horde night starts. But anyway, what I was saying was we've we've repaired the base. We've upgraded it to more titanium than it's had uh, up to this point. And we've improved it a little bit by adding extra fence posts and by adding a dart trap that we're going to have to be somewhat judicious using because we don't want to, you know, we only have a thousand darts and I don't want to spend um, the iron it's going to take to uh, to fill that thing all the way up. I just don't have that many resources at this point. So let's head on back to the base. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually hold on. We're going to leave this, 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 that, and that, and that here. I guess we could leave these extra concrete blocks here for now too. And we'll leave the wiring tool and the wire here. and the electrical parts for repairing the fence. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is, I should I have a bunch of 762s and a bunch of pipe bombs being made up back at the base. So we should be in reasonably good shape for ammo. We could stand to do a little bit of repairing down here, but I'm not too terribly worried about that. So, we need research data and we need books and actually you know what now that i think about it we could just buy the research data that we need and make uh where am i going no don't go in there and make just make the books i think maybe we should do that we should spend our money in doing that because we really need to be able to make some more titanium plating for repairing so that be in the case let's go up to the base first of all and what time is it oh, man we are running out of time aren't we okay never mind we're just gonna go buy as much research data as we possibly can afford to buy uh, and we'll start with our trader in town here because I don't want to go all over the place due to our, our time limit. And we'll see if the trader that we have in town here has enough for us to do what we need to do. And if not, then we'll have to go a little further. All right, let's see here. May I see your inventory? Oh, he's got books. Oh, fantastic. All right, we need... I don't remember how many books we have back at the base, but I know we need at least 20 to do the upgrade. So how much is 20 books going to cost? Well, how much is all of this going to cost? Heck, let's just buy them all. Fantastic. Okay. That made things a lot simpler. All right. Now, uh, he doesn't have anything else here that... Is that a schematic or that's the actual fitting? Ooh, I wouldn't mind having this 2x scope for the pistol. Let's buy that too. That's not that expensive. That is not that expensive. Okay, let's go to secret stash. And we want to... Wait, what? Urban combat? Is 5% higher influence on negotiating a trade? Why? <laughs> What's that got to do with trading? That's weird. All right. Well, we need urban combat. We need to finish it. We already have truck maintenance. We're going to buy this to scrap it. Hop seed, maybe. Steel combat knife, nah. I mean, yes, we're going to buy it to scrap it, but I don't think we need it to. Oh, and we definitely want lucky looter. Find money just laying around. Find more dukes and loot. Gotcha. Okay. We already have this truck maintenance book. How much does it cost? Yeah, that's, that's expensive. Safe travels. All right. We're going to learn this. Uh, we might as well learn that. This we're going to scrap. That we're going to scrap. This we're going to scrap. And this we're going to learn. Well, that's great that we got all those books. Okay. Now let's go here. Go modify. And put the scope on this guy. Nice. Okay. Now let's see what you got. 
not really anything here we're interested in unless we wanted to buy some hazmat that we could then scrap down into uh, military fibers. Uh, you guys were telling me in the comments that as far as you knew, there's no way that we don't need hazmat clothing for anything in Undead Legacy. I mean, it, it's not a requirement to go into like a irradiated area or anything like that. So that's good to know. That means we can just scrap it down into military fiber. Uh, anyway, come over here. All right, we're going to want to buy that. We don't need steel machete because we have a titanium machete. So we'll buy that to scrap. We'll buy that to scrap. Buy that to scrap. Oh, that, <clears throat> excuse me, that uses up our money. Titanium axe, nice. Yes. Yes. I was going to look at one other thing here real quick. Okay. Thunderbird. That could be fun. We'll have to mess around with those at some point. Thanks, anyways. You be careful out there. Okay, scrap, scrap, scrap. That gets us enough. Okay, I think we're good. So, we're going to head back to the base. We're going to upgrade our blacksmith station to a tier 3 and then start making a bunch of titanium plating because, again, we're going to need it for repairing on Horde Knight. I'll see you back at the base. All right. Let's go ahead and we got everything we need for that. We just got to grab a hammer. And this should just pop into our inventory when we upgrade it. And hopefully it'll fit in here. Oh, wow. This is like... Okay. Um... That's taking up three blocks of space. Well, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to put it, just put it there. It should still be in range of the ores and metals, hopefully. And then I'll have to, we'll have to redo some of this stuff to get it to, f to fit over here. But I don't want to mess with that right now. Okay, so let's make, we can make a total of 269 of these. Let's make 200 of these and that'll take six and a half minutes great uh what else can we make on the in this it's mostly i think just the titanium stuff and there's probably you know obviously there's probably a few more things in here too that we could we could make but well probably all the titanium tools that we could no longer make in the other one very good. Okay, guys. Well, let's see here. Let's take the rest of our books and research data and stick them in here. So that gives us a total of 139 research data and 48 books. We pretty much exhausted all of our cash, but that's okay. That's what the money's for, to spend. And I think I'm going to cut the camera here and just finish doing things around the base and getting you know finish final preparations for the horde night and then i'll bring you guys back and we will do the horde night okay so i'll see you uh when the horde night starts all right guys the horde night has started let's get our generator going here and uh the plan for the spikes uh or i'm sorry not the spikes the darts will be that uh we'll turn them on when we get demolishers and then turn it back off after the demolishers are dealt with. All right, we'll see how things go tonight. Uh, we'll probably be okay, but <laughs> you never know. But we have improved the horde base uh, quite a bit, so hopefully the extra improvements that we've made will make this uh, still a reliable base. See, now with the extra fence posts, uh, or electric fence, I should say. It's, it's even harder for them to get up here and start messing with stuff. Because they're, you know, they have a higher chance of being stunned, so that means less damage on the base. I do have one skill point, too. Um, so we'll see how many of those we end up with by the end of the night.
Okay, let's take a uh, skull crusher. Oh, I forgot to grab my um. Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the stuff for sh for shooting better. Something. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, too late now. Yeah, see, they're not even hardly touching the base. Because they're just stunned the whole time. So far, so good. Nice, we got a group knockdown there. Let's check repairs. Everything is in really good condition here. They're just too stunned to do anything about it. Sledgehammer's 83, nice. You know, having the electric fence out further is kind of getting them stuck on the ladder and they're not, they don't get all the way up, which is good because it lets me get to their heads a little bit better with the sledgehammer in particular. All right, let's check our fence posts. That one needs a little attention, and that one needs a little attention. The, the upper ones are hardly being touched at all. Because they hit the lower ones first, of course. And that works pretty good. Shotgun's level 52, nice. Wow, this is really working good. But we still, you know, demos are always the problem. We haven't gotten any yet, so that's going to be the real test. Check the fence posts again. They're doing work. That one's good, that one's good. That one needs a little love. Okay, let's uh, get some explosive action going here because I have so many pipe bombs. We might as well start using them.
There. We got a demo and he blows up the first time he shows up. What's up with that, man? Must have been my explosives. All right, now we got some damage here we got to pay attention to. Knock it off, copper. another demo and he blows up right when he gets here damn it what the heck man all right well you know what let's turn the dark trap on just for the hell of it we're getting close to the morning anyway let's get a little extra dart action going Is it working? Oh, how come it's not working? I don't know. I did something wrong. Good thing we don't need to rely on it. All right, it's morning, but we'll have the usual cleanup to do here. I mean, the fence posts were the star of the show. <laughs> As usual, putting those uh, that extra back row in made a huge difference in just you know crowd control. Yeah, but I don't know why uh, I don't know why that dark trap's not working. We're gonna have to investigate, see if we can figure out what the deal is. Can we look at it from here without getting zapped? No, it's a little too high up. Well, the good news is we only got two demos for the whole entire night. Uh, but they immediately blew up as soon as they got up here. So I'm guessing it was from my explosives, because I certainly wasn't shooting at them or swinging the sledge at the time that that happened. And I don't think the offense post can set them off. Not that I'm aware of. Are you guys done? Nope, they're still coming. I hear some kind of noise like the dark traps maybe trying to work. I wonder if the grate's blocking it. Maybe that's what the problem is. We're going to have to come up with a plan B if that's the case. Oh, come on. Will you guys just quit coming? Yeah, that clicking noise must be the dart traps. Or the dart trap. Let's turn that off. 
and the clicking noise goes away. Okay, so let's, uh, we're going to have to turn this off to turn the fences off. And let's just come up here. Oh, I, oh, I'm such a noob. I forgot to turn it on up here. I was just thinking the switch would turn it on. Crap. Okay, well, you, the, the good news is we didn't need it. Uh, and that's really good that we didn't need it. Uh, let's just make sure that it's actually working. Oh, now we can hear it. Okay, all right. Well, we'll have it for next time then. But, I mean, again, we didn't even really need it because the, uh, the fence has just did such a good job of controlling this horde. And we didn't get, you know, more than just the two uh, demolishers. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, take our eye candy and hop on down and do some looting. Some rootin' tootin' looting. I'm going to put some of the heavier stuff back in here. Which is pretty much all of that. And then I'll take care of all the repairing later. That should be good enough. Let's see what we get. All right. Uh, superior level iron fire axe. Let's head on down below here. Got a few blue drops. Everything's looking like it's in pretty good shape down here. Sounds like we might have a normal Zeke somewhere around. This is all looking good down through here. All right, let's grab the blue ones first. Nice uh, bunch of shotgun shells. We got a mining helmet there. Some iron leg armor, that'll sell. A-level iron chest armor. This loot really sucks, though, overall. I mean, it just does. I I don't even know if, if I've ever found anything really good in Horde Knight loot. That we can turn into. All right, well, that's not terrible, I suppose. And I think we have... We already have superior steel glove armor, so we might as well scrap that for the research data. Yeah. Yep. Nothing to write home to mother about, that's for sure. That's disappointing, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, Alright, well, we can definitely call that a successful Horde Knight. A very successful Horde Knight, in spite of the fact that I screwed up and forgot to turn the dart trap on. A dart trap on, but that's okay. I mean, we didn't need it. Uh, the electric fence posts help us keep everything at bay. The game was gentle on us this time by not sending us more than two um, demolishers, so that's probably not going to be the case next time. There's quite a bit of damage here. I, I, I really probably need to go around the building itself and just make sure it's in good shape still. I think it is, but it could probably stand to use some touch-up. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode. So I'm going to get everything out here fully repaired and ready for the next Horde Night. And then, of course, we'll have the dart trap uh, to use. And hopefully I'll, I'll be able to put some more darts in it so we have more than just, you know, the thousand that I started with. And um, But pretty happy, like I said, with how this turned out overall. We survived it, and that's the important thing always. <laughs> and uh, the, the base is still working good, you know. Um, Adding these extra electric fence here really made a, a huge difference. And so we'll keep using this design as long as it keeps working. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. And uh, when I come back in the next episode, we will resume. <coughs> um, well, the only thing we have left to upgrade now is the Kim bench. But we do need to do that as soon as we can. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's absolutely critical high priority like some of the other upgrades were. So we're probably going to transition kind of more back to continuing our work on the Deshong Tower and uh, going from there. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.